I want to ask you about Drake coming out that day, Jay Prince coming out that day, Mike Tyson, you up in New York, Ludacris, Fat mm -hmm. Joe, Jada Kiss, all these people trying this burger, they all love it, you know what I'm saying? Like, who do you want to see come through that door next? Probably B. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. I can't Look, wait to get trail there. burgers. Look, Man. it's trail burgers. Now, I have employees that put in very hard hours and work very long days in my store. So, yeah, I do. It's every now and then, they need to switch it up to keep motivated, keep motivating themselves. But it's very important that when people come in trail burgers, that it feel trail. True. Yeah. It look trail and it sound trail. And that's the, my thing is experience. Like people, people come from all over America and they have an idea of what they want to hear and what they should see. When they walk in trill burgers, you know what I'm saying? I should see something that say UGK. I should see something that not only say Pimp C, I feel like I'm supposed to see Pimp C in there. I feel like I need to be hearing some, some music, if not some screw, I need to be hearing some like, her favorite some kinky, kinky <laughs> right? And, and they do. They absolutely do. We sell exotic pop soda in there. Yeah. So we trying to give them the full Houston experience with a touch of that UGK to, on top. How long did it take you to come up with that, um, with a patty? I didn't. Who came up I with that? I didn't invent patty? it. I didn't she invent it. She loved food. So, no, so no two because chefs, everybody so, talk about it so, so much. So, so there were two chefs, uh, Chef Mike Pham and Chef Nando. They came together to create the perfect smash burger. So Nando, um, you know, worked on the technique on how to make the patty perfect as a as a product itself. And Mike came up with the seasoning as well as the trill sauce. Mike had always wanted to make a burger. He felt like a burger was the most American thing mm -hmm. in the world. You know what I'm saying? And so with his family being from Vietnam, he felt like, if he could make the best burger, it would make him feel American. He actually oh, had wow. just said that on Chopped, he won. He did a burger mm -hmm. competition on Chopped and won wow. on Chopped too. Wow. So it's actually cementing him as the best burger mm -hmm. chef in America, Dang. and which is really all he ever wanted to be. He's a traditional trained chef. Like he went to school and everything. Um, and he told his parents, you know, he wanted to be a chef and he went to school and they were like, okay, what kind of food are you gonna make? What kind of, I'm gonna make burgers. burgers. <laughs> you know? Like he didn't have to go to school for that, You're right? But now look at him. He literally has created the best burger in America. And some, as somebody explained to me, it's the best burger in the world because all the best burgers in the world have always come from America. Come on now, an American burger is off top better than anybody Any else. What burger. makes it burger? What makes an American burger? Well, look at Jamaica. Now. That, just gone. I what knew you were gonna do this. What makes an American burger better than any other burger is because he'll say it's the beef. It is. It absolutely is. That's the that's the thing. It's exactly. the beef. It's the beef. Now, you could make a Wagyu burger, mm -hmm. right, from a Wagyu cattle, but right. it would be a waste of the cow because you wouldn't be getting top dollar for, for the beef. If I made, a, if I bought a cow, like a Wagyu Japanese mm -hmm. A5 cow, what it would cost for me to it's buy way that more beef is way too expensive mm -hmm. because the and it's because of how the, the cow is treated, mm -hmm. right? So I can't afford to buy that and make only burgers. Mm -hmm. I got to sell steaks. steaks. I got to get my money's mm -hmm. worth out of it, right? And so that's so outside of that, if you're looking at hamburgers, we do in America have more cows and the best cows for ground beef. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And so and because I'm in Texas. I'm in close proximity For sure. to Kyle. I can throw a rock at any direction. Yeah, that we go look at something in a minute. So I'm in, a yeah. I'm in a perfect place in a perfect position to not only create a hamburger business, but sustain a hamburger business. I'm literally the number one customer of the farm now. Mm. I buy more meat than yeah, any anybody. steakhouse, mm. any burger company, anybody. Nobody buys more beef than them. Nobody sells more Dr. Pepper in America outside of a, you, it have to be a football game. Like a football stadium has to have, or a Taylor Swift concert yeah. for somebody to sell more Dr. Pepper than me in America in any given day. Tell me about the first, um, your, your first time tasting that patty for the first I, time. I couldn't believe a hamburger could taste like that. It literally, it came with onions and pickles, and I hate both. 
<laughs> but he I said, I don't like I hate it. But I say, if I'm going to sell it, I got like, to eat try. it. I got to eat I got a beer. I don't drink beer. I don't either. But I got to drink it. You try to camouflage the, the onion taste with a beer. No, no, no. I'm just saying, I don't. I hate beer. Oh, okay. So, but I own a beer. Oh. Right? So, oh, so, you had, to drink so it. I had to drink it. I had to drink it. it. I got to try this product. And I ate it. And first of all, I couldn't believe how great it tasted. Even with onions. Yeah, even with the onions. So I took another bite. Knowing I was finna bite into onions, and I'm like, I gotta try this. I'm like, this the, I'm like, this the best. It? I'm oh like, this the best. I said, this the best burger I ever had in my life. And I was like, is this it? But like, we think we got it. Give us two weeks and come back, right? We think we got it, but give us two weeks. We're gonna make some changes and come back. And I came back in two weeks, and it was was better. It was one of the best meals I ever had. And wow. so. I was like, what are we doing? Like, how quick can we activate this company? So I host a food award ceremony every year mm -hmm. in Houston, the Tastemaker Awards. That year I said, don't, I, don't, I don't want the money, give me a booth. I got a company and I want to present it because Man. it's where all the food bloggers, all the food writers, the critics, right, everybody, all there. the owners, right? All of these people, they already gonna be in that room instead of me trying to get people to come somewhere where I'm gonna be. So they gave us a little table we set up, you know, we cut them in quarters, you know, and we, we were cooking from a kitchen that was about three minutes away. So we brought over the first 20 burgers, we cut them up. Because it was me, I had a line, people ate, and then people got right back in line. They, mm. they was like, oh, because you could only get a quarter. A quarter, yeah. Yeah, you know yeah, yeah, so yeah. Like, <laughs> so at first the line was short, and then by the end of the day, we literally had the longest line in the midst of all the best chefs and all the top restaurants in town. Wow. wow. Nobody nobody had more business. Well, not business because it was all giveaways, but nobody had more attention to their yeah. brand that night than we did. And so, okay, let's present it to the people. So we did our first pop-up, and we had about 100 people show up. It was about 97 degrees. Uh, it took us a while to get the kitchen going. So I'm walking the line with water, as I've always done, and we still do provide ice water for people. So nobody passed out. Because it's Houston in right. the summer. It's hot. You know what this I'm saying? This year is the hottest summer ever. It's crazy. I'll but but we still, and I, but I, but I, every day, like what's today, Saturday? Saturday, mm -hmm. yes sir. If you was in Houston right now, right now, it's not even 11 o'clock yet, right? Mm -mm. We, we open at 11. It's about 40, 50 people in line right now. Waiting. Oh. Right now, waiting for the doors to open. But and Houston it, does that though. And you well, for barbecue and stuff like that, right. yeah, typically they'll they'll do it. Yeah. But uh, most people will do it for something that they know they can't get anywhere else. Yes. And that's the thing, because I'm literally across the street from Whataburger. I want to ask you about Drake coming there that day, Jay Prince coming there that day, Mike Tyson, you up in New York, Ludacris, mm. Fat Joe, Jada Kiss, all these people trying this burger, they all love it. You know what I'm saying? Like, who do you want to see come through that door next? That's a great question. <laughs> I haven't really thought about that. Jay Z. No, nah, probably B. B. Hell yeah. yeah. Gotta, yeah. Be yeah. gotta be on. B. B. Gotta come through. Probably B. You Man, know what I'm she come, but he if B too. coming, he's coming to. It's, it's gonna crazy. be crazy. <laughs> it, so the burger fans in the company is are actually it's it's actually blue. Blue like burgers her favorite thing. You know mm. what I'm saying? So I've talked to Hove about you know I was like man I got to get you a trill burger and Hove's like look. We over here, we eating, we eating what we think is the best burger in the world right now. He said, I done been twice. She done been three times in two days. He said, but we can't say it's the best burger in the world yet. Until you try. we had your burger. Mm -hmm. I say, well, it sounds like I ain't worried about you. Sound like I need to get the burger the blue. I need to get it the, the blue. blue. Yeah, yeah, blue, 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 blue is the head. Blue, 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 Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk.